Shout out to Tyler Animator for requesting this video. The link will be in the description box down below. If you want to get a shout out in my next video, just simply follow these instructions. Copy the link of the video, go to my Discord channel which is called Reaction Request, and finally paste the link of the video. After that, I will pin it later so you guys will receive a shout out. Anyways, thank you and enjoy the video. I haven't watched the, the original video which was uh, made by Maxart, if I pronounced that correctly. So uh, Maxart, if you're watching this, um, link will be in the description. Same goes to the other boys. Please do not copyright strike me. Um, just ask permissions if you want me to take down the video. And uh, yeah, that would be all. Let's go ahead and start. You have a difficult job ahead of you, Mr. Wright. The defense calls Larry Butts to the stand. Will the witness give his name and occupation, please? My name's Larry. I'm 20 years old, and I live with my mother. Hold it! Whoa. Why do you still live with your mother at 20? Because I was born here. <laughs> and why were you born here? Your birth certificate says you're from New York City. I was born here, Ooh. but I lived in New York until I was four years old. Clearly, the witness is lying. How do you know <laughs> that, that? Face. You can't know that. Did a clown tell you that? <laughs> uh, a clown? Much like the clown who you murdered! I swear it's true, I moved Wait, to New what? York and everything changed. I was happier there. Why did you move to New York? I wanted to become a detective. I thought it would be exciting to try new things. Larry, your whole story has been nothing but a long list of cliches. But, but I'm, I'm not lying. Yeah. Wait, what? If you were born here. Why does your birth certificate say you were born in New York? <laughs> your Honor, I request that this clown be sent to a psychiatrist. Very well. What case closed. The... This court finds the de Brighty. defendant. Oh, this is animal sticks. Okay. Your Honor. <gasps> Blue cube. I am oh. the supposed murder victim. Honky honkers the clown. <laughs> This what? man, Phoenix Wright, is a danger to society. I was the victim here. I did not kill that clown. How do you know? I saw him get blown to pieces by a blast of laser. Your Honor, no, no. Okay. the witness is lying. Are you sure? Order. Oh. How could I have blown the clown to pieces? I don't even own a laser. If you were the clown, mm. you... Oh! Mr. Honkster, do you have anything to say in your defense? Yes. What is it? I am a, a clown. That is all I have to say. Wow. Thank you. Oh. What? <laughs> and I know everything. <laughs> That's right. I, I know everything. What? <laughs> Look at the audience. What did you just say, Mr. Clown? Y you know everything? Of course. I am a magician and a master of the dark arts. I know everything that happens in this courthouse. Uh, dark arts? Demon summoning? No, I can't summon demons. They're much too powerful. I die in an instant. Wait. Mr. <laughs> Clown, why is that so funny? You accuse uh... my client of a serious crime and then you admit to knowing nothing about it. I do know about it, yes. I learned about it from the world's worst source of information. My oh my parents. god! This... Your parents what know the... about it. Yes, they're cops. They know about everything. I'm here to tell you. Impact. I forgot this Larry girl. Bunts. I forgot Killed her the name. Dang. Famous clown, uh, right. Do you know where you are? Yes. I'm at the courthouse. <laughs> and why are you there? To testify in the trial of my stepfather, Larry Butts. Well, why do you want to know that? Because he killed my mother's beloved clown, Honker H. Moose. What's your real name? Henry. Henry Stickman. Wait. How do you spell that name? Ooh! Henry with a C. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Henry. Why don't you like my stepfather? I don't Whoa, dislike what? him per se, I just don't think he should get off scot-free for killing my mother's beloved clown, that's all. <laughs> so why did you come forward with this information? Because that person who killed Honker has never been brought to justice, and I wanted to make sure that never happened. <laughs> who, who killed Honker? Bro. I don't know, it was an anonymous caller claiming to be a magician. 
A magician? This is getting more and more interesting. Can you describe this magician? No, I can't. I only remember that he was a man with a dark sense of humor. Anything else? Did you get a good look at his face? All right, how about this? Mr. Butts was in a car accident, and when the police arrived, they found him unconscious and with severe head trauma. They okay. assumed that he had been drinking and had arrested him for drunk driving. In fact, there was no drunk driving involved. <laughs> Can you explain how the accident occurred? Yes, I can. It was an act of sabotage. Whoa. The magician. Why would a magician want to kill Mr. Butts? That I don't know. However, I can tell you who didn't. Who's that? Who's that? The woman he was dating at the time. Daphne. Oh my God. I don't know no. why she would want Wait, to kill what? him, but I'm fairly certain she's not responsible for Yo, this sooner or later, I'm going to be so how clueless. How do we know their relationship wasn't falling apart? She hired, hired the, the magician. magician. No, she didn't. I did. Okay, you can hire the magician. You admit to it? Yes, I do. I have no defense. <laughs> but <laughs> the real truth shall set you free. What is it? Mr. Edgeworth, who is your next witness? The musician, Mr. Frank. Mr. Frank, <laughs> no! testify and tell us <laughs> what you saw. Y yes, sir. Mr. Edgeworth asks oh him gosh. some questions, and Frank says he doesn't remember a lot of details, he's, but that it was dark, yo. and he couldn't see the driver's face. The car was upside down, and the only thing visible were the license plates. <laughs> I, I ran to the car, but stopped when I noticed that the driver's door was open. I looked to see a man slumped over the wheel. Was he dead? No. He, he wasn't moving. Oh, so he is dead. I, I screamed, and then I heard someone else's scream. Was it? I heard a woman scream. Rose. Where did the scream come from? It's gotta be. Behind me, sir. But a woman ran out from a dark alleyway. Wait, she who's was she? wearing a long white dress, and her face was covered by a white mask with a red mouth. That's bright! Can you <laughs> tell us what happened next? What did you see? Uh, a man came out of the shadows. He was holding a sword oh and he was my also God, wearing a white mask with a red mouth. Uh, the man was the defendant, Larry Butts. As you can see, Judge, this proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that Mr. Butts is guilty. Mr. Butts, how do you respond to these accusations? How, Your Honor, I would like to call my next witness. Who's our next witness? If you please, Your Honor. <gasps> Wait, slowly. So who is this mystery witness? The man who killed the clown. Are you sure that he's going to testify? Yes. Yo. All right, who is this man? His name is Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> no. This is outrageous. This is an attempt to frame me. <laughs> I call the witness to the stand. Any objections? Oh. None. Give your name, occupation, and residence for the record. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I am a lawyer. I practice law in this city. What is your occupation? I am currently serving as the prosecutor of this case. Where Let's were you do. on the night of the murder, Edgeworth? I was at home. Oh. I got home around 10 o'clock shortly before the clown was killed. How could you be sure? You weren't the one actually doing the killing, were you? I was at home, and I have witnesses to support that fact. There's okay. the bartender who can confirm I was there until closing time, and my neighbors can vouch for my early-to-bed, early-to-rise routine. Bring the bartender to the stand as a witness. Ooh. The bartender will confirm my alibi. Lewis, come here, would you? I need you to be a witness That's for the lovely. defense. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. You can testify for the defense as to where you were on the night of the death of this man. I can. I can. Well, let's have you tell the court where you were. I was closing up shop at about midnight, sir. Was Edgeworth with you? No, sir. He left at about five minutes before I did. So Edgeworth was not with you at midnight when the murder occurred. That's ah. right. Edgeworth, your alibi is paper thin. That's right. Are you sure? Yes. Uh huh. Oh damn! The music was going so but, well. But what evidence do you have that proves Edgeworth is the murderer? I don't have any evidence. I'm just telling you what Lewis said. <laughs> Mr. Butts, there is evidence linking you to the crime scene, but none linking Mr. Edgeworth. Why should we believe you are not the murderer? Because I'm innocent. I don't know who the murderer is, and that's God's honest truth. Your alibi is very weak, Mr. Butts. Nobody can vouch for where you were at the time of the crime. Objection! There is one person who knows exactly where he was at the time. Objection! Ooh. Objection! 
I can prove Larry Butts is innocent. Please bring his fiance Daphne to the stand. Oh, Why should I call no. Daphne to the stand? If anything, she should be the one to testify that she was at the photo studio the whole time. Yes, she was at the photo studio with you, with me. You're breaking up. What are you supposed to be, a cross examiner? Call Daphne to oh, the this stand. This music bangers, well. bro. Call Daphne to the stand. Daphne, where were you at the time of the killing? I was at the photo studio with my fiance, Larry Butts. Oh my no, gosh. you weren't. Why are you trying to disprove your own theory? Where are you really at? Where were you really at? I was at my house in my room. I was watching TV. At your house okay. in your room at midnight. Yes. Objection. Ooh. This is photo of you and Butts dated at 11:59 p.m. There is no Almost way midnight. you could have driven from the photo studio to your house in 60 seconds flat. It's it's possible if you put your foot to the floor and rev the engine. Nah. Why would you do that? Unless Wait. you knew a murder was going to be taking place. <laughs> what? I swear to God, I had no idea. That could be true. That's impossible. You must have known. Daphne, Ooh. Larry Butts isn't the murderer. You are. You are the person who was hired to kill Honky Honkers. <laughs> but you couldn't bear to tell your boyfriend, Larry Butts, so you needed to take him home before the murder took place. I can't Ooh. believe you would accuse me of something like this. I would never do that to Larry. Judge, declare the verdict. All right, all right. The defense would like to argue why the court should not declare the defendant guilty. Oh, for... Ooh. I've got you cornered now. Oh, Your check Honor, me. I would like to introduce a Wait, new piece of on. evidence. A letter that was sent to the police by Mr. Butts' daughter, Rita. Wait, what? This letter states that Mr. Butts received a threatening phone call from the victim two days before the crime. Well, the letter must be a forgery then. It's not like my daughter to lie. It's a desperate attempt by the prosecution to try and implicate an innocent man. What are you Wait. smirking at? Let me speak to my lawyer. Your daughter isn't your daughter anymore, Larry. <laughs> She's <laughs> Daphne in this scenario. Huh? What? What? You heard me. Your precious daughter is actually Daphne, the magician's apprentice. Do you have <laughs> evidence that proves this, Edgeworth? Yes, this photograph. It's a picture of me with the woman in question. Where did you take this photo? A month ago, at the victim's studio. That, that means... Daphne is actually the victim? <laughs> yes, Daphne was the victim. This is crazy. I don't no believe it. Way. The prosecution has conspired against me to frame an innocent man. Sit down, Larry. Then, that leaves one question. Who is the magician? Blue Cube? Yeah, I am. <laughs> you are the famous magician, Little Nick? The newspaper said so. Indeed, I have been wanted by the law for decades. I'm not going to stop now. How have you evaded punishment for so long? It's all oh. connected to the case, isn't it? By the way, what do you mean? Wait. The victim was a magician. I am a magician. I have been framed. It's Im impossible. So you mean the real killer was the police? <laughs> You're no. joking. War. They were fed up with me ruining their cases, so they made one of their own. You're telling me that no actual murder took place? I'm telling you that the victim is still alive. Where is he? At the police station, I don't get arrested, and he dies. That's why I didn't get arrested. I was tipped off by the police officer who framed me. That means you still mean to get arrested. Exactly. I'll need an attorney. Me? Why? Because the police will try to frame me again if they get a chance. I'd rather have an ally on the inside who can help me. Of course. Okay. The trial begins tomorrow. See you there. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Yo, Tyler's Phoenix, right? Yo, the credits though. No music? Damn, I'm gonna add mine. <laughs> Yo. Damn basses. Oh yeah, my alternate account. <laughs> uh, yo, I actually enjoyed it. That, that was pretty awesome. That was awesome. In the end, this whole video is completely absurd. At least there are moments that I barely enjoy. I actually did not expect that my OC would be there due to late reply by just using emoji reactions to Tyler. Regardless, gladly appreciate it. This is my very first time to react Tyler's animation video, so I'm always looking forward to see some next content animation. That concludes for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.